Fellas, 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 what is going on today, fellas? So, today's video, I wanted to do a ranking all the GOAT cards for the pullable ones, okay? The ones that you can pull in packs. So, yesterday, I uploaded a video ranking all the reward GOAT cards. Today's video, I want to rank all the ones that you can pull out of packs because it would be way too long of a video for me to do all of them in one, okay? So, I wanted to separate it into two parts, all right? So, that's what we're going to do. So the players we're going to be looking at in this video are Kevin Durant, Tim Duncan, Hakeem, Yao Ming, Shaq, LeBron, both of them, uh, Tracy, Dirk, Magic, we got, uh, no, not Oscar, John Stockton, both the Giannis's, Michael Jordan, uh, LeBron, I already said, Bill Russell, um, both the Giannis's, like I said, and Will, Will Chamberlain. So that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're going to be ranking them all, all of them, okay, from worst to best. And let's just get started, man. And to just a little disclaimer, I don't have experience with all of these guys. Um, I have experience with some of them as, I, as, I, as I've, I've used some of them. I can't even talk. I've used some of them. Some of them I have not used, okay? So obviously, the ones that I don't have, the ones that I've never pulled are the ones that I haven't used. So, um, But I could give you some experience from using other versions of these Opals, you know? Because they, they, just because that I don't have the goat one doesn't mean I don't know exactly what the cards are like. I mean, I've used Prime LeBron, I've used Takeover Giannis. They're not too far off from those versions, but they're just better versions. So I'll just use my opinions based upon my experience with the lesser versions of the card if I don't already have the goat version. If you guys get what I'm saying, all right. So let's get straight into it. The worst of all of the pullable goat cards, I'd have to go with John Stockton. Um. A big reason why is just because he's 6'1", he's the shortest GOAT card out of all of them. So that really doesn't help him out at all. Uh, he, I mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say he's a bad card, but they're, I'm pretty sure he is the cheapest GOAT card. And rightfully so. I mean, he's he's super cheap, bro. You can get this man for super cheap. I mean, all these guys have a lot of Hall of Fame badges. You know, that's expected. But um, let me actually see if he's missing any. Let me go on this website real quick. Uh, to see if he's missing because I know I think a couple of these guys might be missing some badges here and there uh, John Stockton he's missing deep hooks drop stepper lob city finisher pick and roller pick and popper brick wall and worm Quite a few badges for him to be missing so and also his animations are terrible bro his animations are terrible I'm, I'm not a fan of his release either so I have to uh, put him at the worst one all right now the next one I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard, bro. It's gonna be kind of hard to do this because there are a lot of cards and I don't think any of these cards are really trash, trash. But the next one, I might have to go with... I think I'm gonna have to go Dirk. I think I'm gonna say Dirk because... Um, he does, I think he does have this, the... Uh, I think he has, has a pretty good tween. Not a big fan of his, his uh, release though, like I said. But yeah. The Dirk, he's not bad. I mean, he really isn't bad at all. It's just, he's just not like, he's not better than the other guys. I just don't think he's better than the other guys. Some of you might disagree, and that's fine, you know? The badges that Dirk is missing are steady. No, not steady. We're not counting that. Flashy passer and stop and go. That's it, all right? So, yeah. We, um, Dirk, he, he's, he's a good card, man. Like, all these cards are good cards. I just can't give them any... A spot higher than any of the other guys because I think the other guys are you know better and it probably just comes down to personal preference to be honest with you guys as to who like I like over other people you know what cards I like over others and that's fine you know yeah everybody is entitled to their own opinion so I'm gonna have to put Dirk right there okay um it's really hard to really really like go in there and compare these guys because a lot of these guys are very very similar it's just like their animations and their releases that really you know separate them and maybe like their height sometimes but next up after dirk oof i'm gonna have to go with i'm gonna have to go with i think um bill russell no 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 uh Bill Russell or Tim Duncan? I think I have to go Bill Russell. I think I'm gonna go Bill Russell. The reason I say Bill Russell is um his release is okay. He doesn't have a bad release. A little lefty release. Basically 99 everything. He's a 98-3. I mean that's basically 99. He is let me see what badges he is missing here though. I think he is missing a couple, so let's just take a look. 
Um, he's missing flashy passer and pass fake maestro. Those are really like, I would say those are some of the least important badges in this game, bro. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, Bill Russell, man, he's 6'10". If I'm going to play him, I'm playing him at the power forward. It's really just his animations that really, I don't think he has anything crazy from what I've used. If I used to use the out of position Bill Russell, I thought that was a good card too. I just don't think his stuff is anything crazy. I did have a little bit of trouble with his release too, even though it's not bad. Um, it's just very hard to nitpick with these guys, man. But next up, we're going to go Tim Duncan. I'm going to go Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan's 6'11", so he's one inch taller than Bill. And uh, let me see what Tim Duncan's got. I think he might have every badge. Let me just double check that, though. Let me see. Tim Duncan right here. Here he is. Yep, he has every badge. So he has that over Bill Russell, and he is taller. And I do think, I think he has the same signatures as uh, LaMelo, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, moving. No, no, no. Does he? Uh, that's what I heard, bro. I heard he has the same stuff as LaMelo, but somebody could have been lying to me. So let me see. Like, and LaMelo stuff is crazy. I don't see. All right, I don't see it here, bro. Maybe I'm just looking at the wrong thing. But I don't know. I could be wrong, guys. Don't take my word on that. Somebody told me that, though. And I, for some reason, I can't. He has the same. Whoa, okay. Same moving behind the back, which is Pro 3, as LaMelo. He has the same one as... No, no way all these guys have that one. Nah, bro. This is a little weird, bro. I, I don't know. I don't really know too much about these animations, bro. But, hey, bro. I think Tim Duncan is a good card. His release is not the greatest, bro. But I like the way he plays, man. I always like Tim Duncan in this game. Even the, the Opal Tim Duncan that came out before with no range. When he first came out, I thought he was great. So, I got to give it to him. Next up, we're going to go Hakeem. Now, Hakeem, uh, he's seven feet, so he's a little taller than, than Tim. And, you know, or he's literally one inch taller than Tim. But peep, peep how we're going over the cheapest cards, right? The cheapest goat ones, because they are the worst ones. The ones that are cheapest are the worst ones. It's, that's really how it, the way it works. But he does have every badge. He is seven feet. I do like his release better than Tim and Bill Russell's. So that's why I give him the, op the, the edge over here over both of those guys. Although I don't think any of these guys' releases are really bad. But I, I would prefer Hakeem's because I used to use the old Opal Hakeem from the Spotlight Sims. I used to go crazy with that man. So I'm going to just give Hakeem that spot right there. Next up. Oh, actually, you know what? Let, we're going to switch up Hakeem and Wilt. We're going to switch up Hakeem and Wilt. I've never used Wilt. And I've never used any version of Wilt in this game. So besides the Pink Diamond one from way back. But I know for a fact that Hakeem's release is better than, than Wilt's. And Wilt is missing Teardropper and Lob City Passer. Um, although he is a great card, bro. His release, really people say it's really terrible. And that's why people don't really like the Wilt card that much. So I'm going to put Wilt before Hakeem. I think Hakeem is, is better than Wilt. For sure. I forgot about him. All right. Next up. This is tough, man. This is tough. Where do I even start, bro? Um, I'm going to go probably Shaq. I think I'm going to go Shaq. Take a look at Shaq, man. 7-1, so he's taller than Hakeem. He also has a bigger frame, like a bigger body. So I guess that helps him too. Um, I mean, these go cards are 99 everything. Let me see what badges he's got, man. I just ate, so I kind of got like some little hiccups, man. I don't know if that happens to you guys. He is missing Slippery All Ball. That's really it. But I don't know if anyone really cares about that. But Shaq, he doesn't have the great re greatest release. I think Hakeem's release might be better. But the 7-1 in the big body frame really is what's going to propel him over Hakeem, I think. Even though Hakeem probably has longer arms and like more lanky, I would say Shaq, the big body frame could really help you out. So yeah, I'm going to give I'm gonna give Shaq the little edge over Hakeem for that. He is a lot more expensive too, so... But that's not that's, that doesn't have anything to do with how he's better or not. Next up, whoo, bro. I think you guys are gonna start to disagree with me at this point if you haven't already. Oof, bro. I think I have to go with Yao Ming, bro. I think I gotta go with Yao Ming. Where is he at, bro? I can't even find him. Oh, there he is. 
The reason I go with Yao Ming, bro, some people some people might say this is the best GOAT card, bro. 7-6. I could be I could be way wrong, bro. Don't violate me talking about oh this dude is dumb. He put Yao Ming that far. Oh, he said so and so is better than Yao Ming. Don't do that, bro. We're not trying to be toxic here. I'm just giving you my opinions. Really? And I'm gonna be honest with you, the reason I say Yao Ming, one, I haven't used him. And two, but first of all, let me see what he's missing. He's missing teardropper, but that's not really a big deal. Um, two, the other guys that I, that I have ahead of him, I'm so much more comfortable with them than I would be with Yao Ming. Like, I know how to use those guys. I really know how to use those guys. Everybody else, I'm good with. Whether it be their GOAT card or like their, you know, other versions of their card. I have been very, very, very comfortable with those other cards. And that's the only reason. That's the only reason why I would give Yao a spot this far down because i've used the other guys whether it be their previous opals and i know i can be very efficient with their goat cards because i'm good with their other opals it only makes sense all right so that's why i give yao that spot that's really the only reason i cannot argue anything against you if you want to say yao ming is the number one goat card i would not argue against that i really wouldn't i can't bro i can't i cannot i'm not going to sit here and lie to you bro. i'm gonna I'm tell you bro like i'm keeping it honest with you what i really believe all right next up um Oof, bro. We got both LeBrons. We got KD left. We got Tracy. We got Magic. We got Jordan. Uh, Giannis. This is very hard, guys. This is very hard. I think I'm going to go with... Hmm. I, I, might, I might have to go Magic, bro. I might have to go Magic. I don't, I don't remember... I think not yeah, I think I had magic lower than Jordan in my my other video. But magic is 6'9 point guard. I actually have him with the dynamic duo with Kareem as you can see. Uh, magic, he's a great card, bro. He's a great card. He's got a good jump shot. Not my favorite out of the GOAT cards, but he's got a good one from what I would say. He's miss he's missing no badges. He's got everything. Um he's got like the cheesiest behind the back in the game. So like I don't see anything wrong with this card, bro. Really, it's just personal preference at this point. If I'm going to put anybody else over him, it's going to be because maybe I just like them more as a player. You know, that's really all it is. And just my play style, I guess. But that's really about it. Let me try to see some. Let's see. Yeah, bro, that's really it, man. Um, I have to put Magic right there. He does have the dynamic duel with Kareem, but... I don't know if I really consider that. And some of these other GOAT cards, they have more Hall of Fame badges than what Magic has. So, I have to put them down there. But next up, we're going to look at... Oh, bro, it gets really hard to do this, like... Very hard. I think I'm going to have to go with... Hold on, let me take a look real quick, bro. I think I got to go MJ. I think I'm going to go MJ. MJ, I think, is one of the... I think he's only one of two GOAT cards that literally have 99 everything. Not that it makes much difference, but I think only LeBron and MJ have literally 99 everything. I could be wrong. No, MJ even has 99 intangibles. Some of these GOAT cards don't even have... They have 99 everything, but not even 99 intangibles. But regard, like, put put in, intangibles aside, like, forget about that. MJ is one of the only ones that has 99 everything. And he has every badge. So... I, I just really love MJ. Like in this game, MJ is one of my favorite cards. The Flash MJ, I used to go bananas with him, bro. Like his release was amazing to me. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Like I couldn't get enough of that card. And the GOAT card, I can't wait to use him. I can't wait to use him. I haven't used him yet, but I can't wait to use him. I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna snipe him one of these days. And then I'll just probably I don't know, I might keep him, but depending on how much MT I have, but I think he's a great card, bro. I just really love that MJ so much, bro. I love MJ in this game. That's why it's just biased, bro. At this point, I'm literally telling you, it's it's my personal preference. How I like the cards, I'm going to put him that this far up just because I really like his card. Next up, I'm going to go with probably... Hmm. I think I'm going to go with LeBron. But I'm going to go with probably 
this LeBron right here. Yeah, this, this Lakers one, the small forward one, not the point guard one. I think this LeBron does have 99 everything. Yes, he does, as you can see. Uh, I think he has every badge as well. Let me just double check that. Let me double check that real quick. Um, he does have every badge. And he's got more Hall of He's got 69 Hall of Fame badges. Like, he has less on gold than more on Hall of Fame. This is where we're getting into the upper echelon of the GOAT cards. Because some of these, like, the GOAT cards, they can have 63 Hall of Fame badges. And they'll have, like, maybe 11 gold. While, while as these newer ones are having, like, 69, like, almost 70 Hall of Fame and, like, just a few on gold. So, that's why I'm, an, that's really what I'm, the edge is going here for these, you know, these GOAT cards here. LeBron is great, man. I used his Prime LeBron. It was a great card. Obviously, the GOAT ones are going to be great. Um, his release is good, but it's not the best. It's not, it's not the greatest, greatest release out of the GOAT cards. And that's really what is, that's the only thing that's holding me back from putting him higher is his release. Next up, we're going to probably go with Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant. I've, the last, the only Opal Kevin Durant I used was the Prime 2 one. This one's got 67 Hall of Fame badges and 7 on gold. Let me just double check if he's missing any badges. Here. He's not missing any. He's not missing any. He has 99 everything from what it looks like. No, he has 98 offensive rebounding. 98. That's not 99. Not that it matters, guys. I'm just pointing it out. Some of you might say it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, bro. To truth be told, it doesn't. But I mean, KD's a great card, guys. He is. Um, his release is really good. I think it's better than LeBron's. That's why I would put him up over LeBron. That's the only reason. And that, that that's really it. Next up, I'm going to have to go with Tracy. Tracy, 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 Tracy. My man's Tracy, bro. Tracy has a crazy release, bro. His release is bananas. He doesn't have 99 everything, as you can see right here. But he has one of the best releases in the game, and I think a lot of people would agree on that. He is missing deep hooks and pick and roller, though, and worm. So I cannot put him anything higher any any higher than here but his release is crazy the only thing i don't like about tracy is his moving shots if you guys know if you accidentally shoot like a moving shot with him instead of a standing shot it, it it's hard bro i find it very hard bro i don't like it at all i don't like it let me see yeah i don't like it at all wow okay now i'm seeing his re release right here the trey burke and kobe bryant is upper i didn't know there's kobe his upper was kobe bryant looking on here on 2kdb Wow, I did not know that. That's uh interesting, bro. That's interesting. But yeah, bro. So Tracy, he has to go there. Because just those couple things hinder him. There's just a couple little minor things that I don't like about Tracy. Like his moving shot. I really don't like that. I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, I find it very hard to green with, with his. But um next up. Uh we're gonna go point guard LeBron. We're gonna where where is he at? If I can find him, that is. Is this him? No, this is the other one. Here he is. Point guard LeBron. Look at the one without the shoe. I don't think it may, makes any difference if uh you know if he has a shoe or not. This LeBron, I'm pretty sure he has 99 everything as well and every badge. I'm just gonna double check that. He does have 99 everything. Mm-hmm. And he does have every badge. The only difference between this LeBron and the other LeBron is that this one plays point guard. They're exactly the same thing. And that's the only reason why I'm putting him higher here is because he's able to play the point guard position. And if you play unlimited, then it's like, it's, it's more cheesy, I guess, than having LeBron a small forward. That's literally the only reason why. And I can't really speak on anything other than that with, with that card. And then obviously, lastly, we have the both Giannis's. I had to put them here at the end because... Well, I'll, I'll give this small forward Giannis the number two spot. It might be a little bit different. Let me let me just double check. 64 and 10. Let me see real quick. They are different. They are different. Absolutely, yeah. They're not exactly the same card like the LeBrons are. This Giannis right here, the first one that came out, the small forward one, he is not as good as the, um, the point guard one. Obviously, first off, he plays small forward. Uh, he has every badge. Don't have to worry about that. He does have nine. No, he does not have 99 everything. He doesn't. Um, 
but it doesn't really matter, bro. Uh, but yeah, he's he's a great card, bro. The only thing that the other Giannis has over this one is badges. He has got a couple more Hall of Fame badges. That's really it. That's literally the only thing. And that's the reason why, and he can play the point guard. That's the reason why I think this is the best go card. People ask me, what do you think is the best go card? I think this one is. So I have to give it to him. 6'11 point guard, bro. And 67 Hall of Fame badges, 7 on gold. So he's just ridiculous, bro. All these cards are good, guys. Okay. All these cards are good. I think we can all agree on that. Um, whether you agree with my list or not, that's really up to you. Um, I just I just don't want it to get toxic because this is just for enjoyment, man. We're just trying to enjoy the game that we that we all play. We can all love and enjoy it, man. I mean, I don't really love it. I in fact I don't even come close to loving this game. I, in fact, I can't wait for 2K21 to come out so I can delete this game and never play it again. But, bro, I mean, you get you guys get what I'm saying, all right? So I'm gonna end off this video right here, man. I try to keep it as short as possible. I didn't want to go on for too long. It reached about 20 minutes or so, but. Yeah, we're going to end off right here, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts, what your list is in the comments below, man. Respectfully, uh, we're on the road to 40K, guys. So I'd appreciate it if, if any newcomers would hit that subscribe button, man. And yeah, I got the videos lined up to keep coming out, man. So with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.